the engines on the island of Sodor all have favourite jobs. It makes them feel very special. Percy likes taking the mail. And Emily likes collecting passengers in her special coaches. And Spencer loves to take the Duke and Duchess of Oxford to wherever they need to go. He thinks it makes them the most important engine in the world. One morning, the fat controller came to see him. Spencer, today the Duke and Duchess must be taken from Knapford Station back to their summer house. No problem, sir. I will go straight to Knapford Station right away. Oh no, I'm here to tell you, Spencer, that the Duke and Duchess want Stephanie to take them to the summer house instead. Spencer was furious. You got it all wrong. I'm the Duke and Duchess's private tinjin. I take them everywhere. Well, today, Spencer, they want Stephanie to take them instead. Apparently they've wanted to ride on Stephanie for a long time. What are they thinking, wanting a stupid, useless little engine like Stephanie to take them? Stephanie is not silly or stupid. Stephanie's a very useful engine, said Jack. Listen, Jock, Stephanie is small, like you. And then Spencer left. And he went to Knopford Station, just as Stephanie reversed to the platform. Now, Stephanie, this is a Duke and Duchess of Boxford you're going to be taking the day. Not ordinary people, so you must go as smoothly as possible. Do I make myself clear? Don't you worry, Spencer. I will give the Duke and Duchess a fantastic journey. Don't worry, Spencer. Stephanie will give us a lovely journey, said the Duke of Oxford. And this made Spencer very cross. And steadily and very carefully, Stephanie set off. You know something, Thomas? She will not last a minute. She's going to humiliate herself in front of the Duke and Duchess. Stephanie is a he, not a she, and he will give the Duke and Duchess a wonderful journey, said Thomas. Stephanie's a boy. This makes it ten times worse. Meanwhile, Stephanie gave the Duke and Duchess a wonderful journey. Meanwhile, Spencer was making a plan. He was thinking of a way he can pay Stephanie back. Stephanie will not know what hit her. Oh, sorry, I mean him. Meanwhile, the Duke and Duchess went to see the station master at Wellsworth Station, just as Spencer pulled up beside Stephanie. You know, Stephanie, this curl you were supposed to take to the curl bunkers a day will be delivered quicker with me. Why is that, Spencer? Because you're fast? No, no, no. Because I will be able to take all the trucks at once. I mean, looking at you, Stephanie, how many trucks could you take? Two at a time? Stephanie was upset. I've been trying to figure you out, Stephanie. I mean, you have a girl's name, and you look like a girl. And you like bluebells. Stephanie was now embarrassed as well as upset. And make sure you leave my couch at Knapford Yards when you're finished. I have to give it a run to get it used to me again instead of a silly little engine like you. Now driver, off we go! And Spencer raced away. Then the Duke and Duchess boarded Stephanie again and Stephanie set off as well. Spencer had finished his plan. It was a very evil plan. Right, take me to Knapford Yards right away. He will not know what hit him. And Spencer left the shed. 
Stephanie was leaving the coach back at the yards. And suddenly, Spencer backed onto the coach. Right driver, couple me onto the coach. Whoa, whoa, Spencer, wait! I'm so coupled on! shouted Stephanie. Can you hear something, driver? It must just be the wind. Now full spider ahead. And Spencer raced away. Spencer was going as fast as he could, and poor Stephanie was coupled behind him. Someone help me! shouted Stephanie. Was that Stephanie coupled behind Spencer? I think it was. Stephanie was scared. He had never went as fast. Just then, Bear came up. That Spencer's only after washing steam right into my eyes. Just as well Spencer isn't on the road, I would be busy every day with accidents. But there was trouble. Spencer was heading towards a siding. His driver quickly shut off steam and applied the brakes, but it was too late. Spencer crashed right through the buffers and came off the track. Dear, oh dear, Spencer, what have you done? Luckily, his driver and fireman jumped clear. Mavis saw the crash. Oh, Spencer, are you okay? Oh, Spencer, do, don't worry, I will get the breakdown train. You were going way too fast, said Stephanie. Oh, I know. Oh, st st Stephanie, well, what are you doing here? You set off before I was uncoupled. Oh, did I? Oh, how terribly silly of me. I thought I heard a noise from behind the coach. So Stephanie took away the coach and then got the breakdown train. Spencer was very embarrassed. What are you looking at? He shouted to Henry. And then Stephanie brought the breakdown train. Don't worry, Spencer. You'll be on the track in no time. Spencer was pleased. So the workmen were getting the breakdown train hooked onto Spencer to lift them back onto the track. And with a big heave, the breakdown train lifted Spencer back onto the rails. Now, said Stephanie, I will take you straight to the works. So thank you, Stephanie, and about what I said earlier, those horrible names I called you, I'm sorry. And while I'm getting repaired, can you look after the Duke and Duchess for me? Of course, said Stephanie, it would be an honour. When Spencer was repaired, Stephanie came to see him. I am feeling much better, Stephanie, and thank you for looking after the Duke and Duchess. You're a hero, Stephanie. You saved Spencer, and you looked after the Duke and Duchess while Spencer was getting repaired, said Trevor. Stephanie was very pleased. Say, Spencer, no matter what size you are, you are still very useful. I suppose you're right, Jock, said Spencer. Anyway, Spencer, I must go and get on with my day's work. And then Stephanie set off. Spencer was feeling very pleased with himself. He didn't even tell Stephanie that he set off with a couple behind him on purpose. Silly little engine.